Hi everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. We are back. We are here and I hope that everybody had a wonderful weekend, that you enjoyed yourselves and that we are starting this week off feeling better and relaxed and ready to tackle this week. Thank you guys for the continued love and support for my family and for my husband. He is feeling better a little bit each day and we both greatly appreciate every single person that took a time out to say their well wishes, prayers, and thoughts for us in that difficult week last week was a doozy. But let's not hesitate because I cannot believe what I found over this weekend. I literally cannot believe it. I don't understand it quite yet, but I'm not going to question it. I had to grab it and I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree this weekend. So let's just show you. Holy moly, we are in September. Guys, we are in September. It just literally turned fall yesterday and we already have Christmas decorations out. I don't understand it. But honestly, finding a piece like this, I don't really care. Because if I didn't grab it now, it is not going to be there for me. And you know that I am obsessed with gnomes. And it seems to be a gnomey Christmas at the Dollar Tree this year. This seems to be what they are going to go with for the holiday season. And so I had to pick it up. I absolutely love this handsome little fellow right here. I love the pom-pom on top and it's nice and sparkly and shimmery and the checkered black and red. The wreath is just so cute. I love his big bulbous nose. He's just a handsome guy. So I had to grab him. He does have a ribbon for hanging purposes, but you know me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wreath out of him for sure. Then I picked up his best friend. I had to get him a friend because the friend was just too cute. These are the only two that I found. They were just hanging out waiting for me to grab them. And I love this one as well. I love the holly berry on his hat. I love his beard and how shimmery and sparkly it is. The present, it says Merry Christmas across it. His little green shoes. He is just all buttoned up and ready for Santa to come to his gnome house. And I wish I could be there on Christmas morning with this gnome little family. And I think that they are just so adorable. And so there he is. Then I also found some Christmas bulbs. Um, wall signs but they are mimicking Christmas bulbs like you'd put on the Christmas tree. This one says gnome for the holidays which is really cute but look at him in his Christmas pajamas with his stocking cap with the holly berry but look at the crescent moon that is on the tip of his hat. Is that not fantastic? And I love that he's holding the two candy canes crisscross like that. I think he's a little stud muffin and I just love him to pieces. And I love that they did the metal piece on top to make it really shimmery and shiny so that it really looked like a bulb that you'd put on a Christmas tree. They did have another three options of different types of bulbs. I can't remember for sure if I got a picture of all of the other three consecutively like lined up with one another. But if I did, I did take some pictures. I will share them to my Instagram. It is Crazy Days of Callan over on Instagram as well. So you can follow me there and I'll always post pictures of the other things that I find at the Dollar Tree that I might not show you here, but I will show you on Instagram what the other options are. So there he is right there. And I think that that is awfully, awfully adorable. Then right here, I found this steak and it has the steak piece to which you know that I will be taking off because I never use the steaks um, on these signs for outdoor purposes. It is just like, um, like a cardboard type of particle board steak. It will melt into nothing in the elements if you put it outside in the weather. 
and this one has a handlebar mustache and I thought that that was so adorable. So here is his handsome little face and his crisscrossed candy canes in his hands and I just think he is just precious. So he's going to hang out with his other two best friends for the holidays. So that will make three gnomes and I will make three separate wreaths. And I have about eight to nine doors in this house that I like to decorate with um, wreaths on every door on the front and on the back. So I have plenty of space to make plenty of holiday wreaths as I always do. Now I found some garland and the garland has gnomes on it as well and i just think they are the cutest little gnomes ever on the garland and i love that they're i'm sorry i'm trying to grab it they are just absolutely the cutest little gnomes here on the garland all sprinkled through it and i love the vibrant christmas green so I actually got this because my husband Richie wanted me to throw it around my neck for the video while I was doing Monday's Dollar Tree haul. But to be honest with you, I think I've had an allergic reaction to something cinnamon this evening and I am burning on fire right now and very uncomfortable. Plus it is quite warm out and I am just not feeling up to having this uh, um, around my neck like a scarf. So I'm sorry, honey, but I was not able to pull this off for this video, but Christmas is coming and I will dress up for you guys during some Dollar Tree hauls because it is my vibe anyways to be eccentric and wild. So I found those things right here. And then the next best thing I think I have ever seen for a wire wreath form is this snowman and I can't even fit him in the frame so I'm just gonna show you little by little what he looks like look at his awesome little top hat his circle little head his circular body but with the stick hands coming out of each side so that he has some hands and there he is he is extremely big he's a big boy he is a big boy and I think he is such a hunk. I'm going to leave him just like this. I'm not going to dress him up. I'm not going to embellish him. The most I will probably do to him is I will spray paint this a different color and make him a little bit more vibrant. I'll probably spray paint him like a blue or a gold color or something like that to put on my door for Christmas and I might put like a little bow in his hair with some holly berries um, within his top hat to kind of just embellish that maybe a scarf around the neck but that is the most I'm probably going to do with this snowman wire wreath form and I just I could not believe it what an amazing job and this whole entire wire wreath form for one dollar you have to be kidding me so there is a snowman wire wreath form for you guys to go run out and snatch up because that has got to be like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my whole days. Then I found this and this is the next coolest because these LED, LED wire lights right here. Look at these. Look at how gorgeous they are with all of the leaves on it. It requires two AA batteries, not included. It's 10 lights on this LED string and the greenery is just, oh my goodness, so, so, so beautiful. So I picked up two of these, but there were other options of LED lights in the Christmas section. There were some with yellow lights on the um, string. There were some with, I think, stars that had little embellished stars on them, like where the light bulbs will shine through. They had a couple of different options for the LED lights for the holiday section. So I was beyond excited, beyond excited when I found these and I am going to doll something up. I don't know what it is yet because it's only September, guys. It is only September. I am not ready for it, but I saw the stuff. And I promise you, if you don't grab it now, it will not be there. And they will continue to come out more, with more stuff, definitely. 
by September that is different than what they're putting out now. But usually once it's gone, it's gone. And if you don't take it, you're not going to find it. Then I found these containers right here. I got two packages, but I'll just show you one for now. And there's four pieces in each. And they are little, um, they open up so you can put little treats inside, little gifting things inside. Hold on one moment, please. Um, nope. And then, so you can use them to gift or you can embellish the insides of them with sparkles and glitter so that they can shake around, make them into ornaments because they do have the little hole that you can loop a little string through and use them for ornaments on your tree. Do whatever you would like with them. But I love the big chunky stars and I am so excited to have found these. So I grabbed two packages of the stars so that I would have eight all together. And I'm probably going to get more to be honest with you. They did have red bells as well in a package of four just like that as an option too. But the ones I wanted were definitely the stars. Then I found this beautiful little guy right here. He is a classic looking Santa Claus hugging the boxes and it says Merry Christmas across it. And look at his handsome little hunk of a face. He is so sweet, so precious, and he reminds me of an old school Santa like how we used to decorate when I was small. His image of his face reminds me of old-fashioned decorations. And yes, I said old-fashioned. I'm 40 years old and I'm starting to look at the things from my generation and call them old-fashioned because we are way outdated at this point at 40 and above. So I'm happy to see these older characters coming back to life. They did have a couple of other options of these little block um, decorations that kind of sit on the counter space or a bookshelf or wherever you want to put them really as long as it's a flat surface. But I definitely wanted Santa Claus because I thought he was the sweetest looking one of all of them. Now, I have some fantastic wood cutouts here that I, I was like fawning over. So I grabbed the reindeer right here. And this is an LED reindeer. So it comes like this because inside it has the little light. On the back it has the switch and the pull tab that will shine this little guy up. I'm going to pull the tab of mine just so that you guys can see it lit up. And there he is. Oh my heavens. Is he not whimsical and beautiful and magical looking? And I know that these wooden pieces are meant to paint and DIY and make your own personalized. But I really like them just natural wood. And for Christmas, I might go for like an all country type of theme in my house and just natural wood decorations might might be up my alley for the holidays this year. So to just set him on a little counter space and let the light shine through him, but with the etching image of his reindeer little magical being is going to be so cute. I'm not going to light them all up because, you know, we are a ways from Christmas. So I want to make sure that the lights work for the holidays. And then this is the same concept. It has a little light inside. And then here is the gingerbread house option. And I just, they did a fantastic job with the cutouts. Look at all of the, you know, really sharp edges that they got around and cut out the windows and the little stars and the candy canes and the hearts and the door and the wreath. And the garland with the stars across it. I just absolutely love it. They did a fantastic job on that. Then this one as well. And oh my dear. This is a wagon. So this this I don't think is the truck. I picture this to be like the wagon for Christmas time. Like the family roadster. Like National Lampoon's Vacation. 
with Chevy Chase. And they're all in the family wagon with the Christmas tree on shop on top of the car. So I don't think that this is a little red truck. I think this is a wagon and the Christmas presents and tree. And they have the whole windshield cut out with the little steering wheel showing. And so again, the light will shine right through that whole entire image. And on the license plate, it says Christmas. So they did an amazing, amazing job with these wooden cutouts and I, I couldn't think them enough because they're going to give me a very country vibe this Christmas for decorating. Then ice skates. I could not believe these. I absolutely love ice skates. I haven't ice skated in a really long time, but I grew up doing it at the local ice skating rink and they are so done well they are perfect perfect ice skates and I love the little snowflakes on them and where you lace up the lacings up into the uh, little fur around the top of it they are so 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 cute and you just kind of like string them over string them over a branch and let them dangle on your tree for a decoration or you can paint them and do what they're intended for or whatever you want to do with them wear them around your neck and look cute at christmas be like hey guys look at me here i come this is me this is like what i would do i'm gonna wear that to work one day that would make a cute like lapel on my shirt <laughs> Um, so this is just really beautiful, but I'm telling you, they had so many wood cutout options, you know, for Halloween, how crazy I've gone over the wood cutouts for Halloween, but also now for Christmas, they had an array, an array, an array of wood cutouts that were fantastic. And I really wanted to pick up all of them, but I'm like, girl, you need to calm down and get the ones that you really, really want that you're afraid are going to be missing before Christmas comes. So this is the one that I chose and it says Merry and Bright. So I can picture myself definitely doing a bleach dye or a tie dye shirt or a, a sweatshirt. If you get a Hanes sweatshirt, women's sweatshirt, they're roughly about $10 even at Walmart. So I can picture myself getting probably like a Hanes sweatshirt for around that price range, putting this in the middle, tie dyeing around it, or bleach dyeing if it's a colored sweater, and putting that merry and bright right in the middle. Um, I used to work at a day program with 14 uh, individuals that had brain injuries in a day program and one year I did an entire 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 uh Christmas theme oh what was it it was like all ice it was all snow a, a white Christmas and I I decorated every single piece of that room with them we had music playing every single day and I made them all ugly sweater shirts and sweat and shirt uh, sweaters for the staff in that room and for all of my wonderful guys that I miss so, so much since I left that position and we rocked it out. I wish I could share those pictures with you guys, but my individuals that I cared for at that time were in some of the photos and I wouldn't be able to share those but that room looked like it could have been in Disney with the way that we designed it and decorated it and built things. And there was a contest and our room won. And my guys were like over the moon happy through that whole process. And that's just what I loved to do so much. But I went home over like a week span of time and I made 22 ugly sweaters and ugly t-shirts and I dressed them all up and I dressed my staff up all in that room and we had so much fun. So when I got that stencil, it brought back that memory and I miss my guys so much. I was a caregiver for 16 years um, for so many different ranges of things with human beings that I absolutely worshipped and I do miss that. Um, but this is a new chapter of my life. Sorry for that quick interruption. Let's get back to it. So right here, 
this is a color your own decoration again and it comes with the four markers inside and this one is also the wagon on here and it says be merry with the christmas tree on top and again this reminds me of my favorite 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 movie for the holidays which is um chevy chase's national lampoons christmas vacation and i'm gonna decorate that while watching that movie and i'm gonna have a fun time with it now oh my gosh are you ready so that all of that stuff i was booming excited through the store finding that then i found these and these are more for like my son and things like that because not even i am going to drink them myself but look at what i found i found hershey's cocoa mix milk chocolate uh, made with real milk and there are eight hot chocolates in here of the hershey's kind i don't know who brought them but that is a fun time for the christmas festivities to have hershey's hot cocos that is a beautiful beautiful box even to set out on the counter at a hot cocoa station and oh my goodness, I was more than thrilled when I found these and my son loves hot chocolate. So I can't wait to have that night and have these treats with him. Then I found York right here, peppermint chocolate hot cocoa mix. And I was thrilled just the same. There are six in here. Maybe there was six in the other one. I'm not going to grab the box again though because then I'm going to have to reach. But there are six hot chocolate packets in here of the York Peppermint Patties. Oh my goodness. How refreshing would that be? I love mint hot cocos. And this one I might have to take a little sip of because this is just screaming. Please pour some hot water in me. Stir me up and sit in your fuzzy socks and hang out with me. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to have that. And then I found a whole entire box of Nutrigrain bars. And these are the apple cinnamon made with whole grains. Good source of calcium and iron energy to start the day. There's 130 calories um, in here and there's eight bars. So this is a huge, just regular size box that you would probably get for like $3.50 to $4 in my local grocery store. So I picked up three boxes of these so that my son would have one to grab in the morning if he wanted to pack it in his lunch box and what have you to have it for a snack during the day, you know, as a side of his breakfast just for a little treat. And so those are perfect for fall as well because they are apple cinnamon. So there's that. Now, I do have so many other things that I want to show you, but it's already at 22 minutes and I'm probably going to just show you these other three things, wrap this video up, maybe include um, the rest of them in Wednesday's haul. So, because it, it, let's just stick with the Christmas theme, this Monday Dollar Tree haul. I found this book, The Boy Who cried wolf and that is such a really good life lesson and I've never owned the boy who cried wolf I've never actually owned the book so finding this was I I think a really good find and I grabbed it and it does look like it came directly from the Dollar Tree book selection so I picked that up and that is going to go in my grandchild bin then I found a knob I found a whole box of knobs and I did take a picture of the entire box to share with you guys to show you the other options but I picked up this beautiful beautiful knob right here and I was thinking about changing out all my knobs but I have so many cabinets so many drawers so, I mean it would be an undertaking to switch out all the hardware on all of my different cabinet spaces and everything. So I just picked up one little beautiful blue flower to put in my bathroom in the closet um, door in my bathroom. So that is what I picked this one up for. But the other two options were just as beautiful and I loved them just as equally the same. And I will share that picture with you guys on Instagram and let you know about that. Then I was... My, 
I got sponges. That was the last thing that I was going to show you, but I'm probably not going to show you sponges because they're just sponges that I needed to replenish. So what's the fun in that after we saw all that amazing Christmas stuff? So I will show you the scarf and I got just a regular black and white polka dot scarf and it's from the Juncture brand and you know that I twist and tie these up in my hair and put a big bow in the top of my hair and bobby pin it in so that it doesn't slip. I've never actually just seen a really classic looking scarf without a ton of colors in it and a ton of different patterns on it and designs and this is just a really great print. I own a lot of things polka dot black and white so this is going to go really well in my scarf collection. That is it. Happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. I hope you were as excited as I was over the weekend when I popped into two different Dollar Trees and found that Christmas stuff sparkling in my eyes. So there you go. And I will see you on Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul with the rest of the stuff over here. And it is more geared toward, you know, fall and Halloween again and some essentials that I will share with you on Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul so please come back for that because the little pile I already have over here waiting for you for Wednesday is quite good and I can't wait to share it with you. I hope everybody has a beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy, amazing, fantastic, loved, kind to one another couple of days until I see you on Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul. If you like my videos, if you like spending time with me, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I love talking to you guys. I love it. You guys make my whole week a brighter place and hit the bell notification so that you can see every single time immediately when I post a new video so that you won't miss anything from me. And that is all. I love all your faces. I hope you guys are really, really doing awesome. And I just think you guys are fantastic. And I'm talking to more and more and more of you each and every single video. And that is making me super happy. And I talk about you guys even off the video. I tell my family about you. They see your comments to me. Your positivity and light in my life is very valued. And I think that I did the best thing by starting a channel on YouTube to bring me into the world of everybody that I would have never had a chance to know. So that's all. I hope you guys have a wonderful one and I will see you Wednesday. Love all your faces to the moon and back. Bye guys.